everyone, my name is Chrissy. Welcome to my channel. This is Everyday Tidbits. If you're new here, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time I post. Today I have a lot of things to do. This video is over the course of two days. I'm starting out my morning by organizing all of my built bars. I have so many and they were starting to take over my pantry, so I thought I would put them in these clear containers so that I can see exactly what I have and I don't buy any more. I love Built Bar so much is because who does not love chocolate? Honestly, to me, it feels like I'm eating something that's bad for me, like a candy bar or something like that. And since I'm following the Weight Watchers Blue Plan, most of the Built Bars are anywhere from three points to five points on the high end. But I would say on average, they're about three or four points a piece, which is nothing for like a dessert or a quick on the go snack. There's also these Built Puffs in this container right there. They're like a chocolate covered marshmallow and they're only three points each I love them there's also built bites they're just a tiny little nibbit two points a piece there's they come in all different flavors and I just love sticking them in my daughter's lunchbox and in my purse and my lunchbox as well I think I have a little bit of a problem <laughs> but seriously no these are so good and that's why I order a bunch because every time they come out with a new flavor I need to try it my daughter likes them too and I keep them in my lunchbox I pack them in her lunchbox they are always in my car always in my purse so I really do like them I especially love the puffs and these little build bites these are like two points each on Weight Watchers blue and they are just like perfect for like that little sweet bite that you need this bag i'm going to be giving to my mom so she can bring it to work with her keep it in her car and her purse put it in my stepfather's lunch whatever so i'll be giving that to her because i have so much that i want her to try it she's never tried it so what i need to do now is clean up that mess but if you guys want to try built you can go to BuiltBar.com and you can put in my promo code TIDBITS10 and you will get savings on your purchase. And I highly recommend it guys because look, this is proof of how much I really like Built Bar. You won't be disappointed if you try it. I had said in my last video that the weather was cooling off and that we're actually having fall like weather but for the past two days it's been absolutely disgustingly humid out like pea soup it's been around like 75 to anywhere from 79 but humidity and it's just so sticky like come on already with the fall weather I want to wear all my hoodies and boots and stuff like that and I just can't feel comfortable in outfits like that when it's so humid out how is the weather by you guys and the clouds are closing in You see, I know this But the last days in real life I've noticed Losing focus Breaking up from our life as we know it If someone had told me That I will take off And find something greener Greener than gold It is.
it is still early in the day, so I'm just gonna take a minute to marinate my turkey. This is a Butterball 99% fat-free turkey tenderloin that I buy very often because it's zero points on the Weight Watchers plan. Now, this sugar-free barbecue sauce is also zero points up till you get to two tablespoons. So this is a delicious zero-point meal for me. I make it in the air fryer, and you guys have seen me do this in the past. My daughter loves it. It's something that we eat on a regular basis, and it just always comes out perfect and juicy which is why I make it all the time you see I know this but the last days in real life I've noticed losing focus breaking up from our life as we know it if someone had told me that I will take off and find something greener, greener than as I mentioned, I am doing Weight Watchers and I am on the blue plan. I am down 21 pounds so far since the end of June. That's when I decided that it was time for me to take a hold of my life and make a change. My dad had gotten sick and I was not home. I was working and I just did not have a lot of free time. So I was eating a lot of fast food and a lot of takeout uh, between staying at my sister's and helping to take care of my dad. And it was just a time in my life where everything that was all about me was put on the back burner and I was starting to feel really toxic. So I decided since my sister had luck with Weight Watchers that I would start myself and I am loving it so far. I absolutely love it. My days off have been so busy. They're filled with doctor's appointments, dentist appointments, trying to play catch up still in between working full time and trying to keep up with the house, helping my daughter with her chores because I do not give her as much chores now in the school year as I did when she was off for the summer. But um, we switched networks you know, as far as my insurance at work, because I work for a hospital system now. So I had to change all of my doctors. Anyone who's accepting new patients was a like months or weeks long wait. So I am still trying to play catch up with all the yearly things that I need to do. And it's just been like, you know, constant catch up on every day off that I have. So I don't have a lot of free time. So I have been exhausted lately. Aside from the cool weather that the fall brings and winter and stuff like that, I am not a hot weather person, girl. Um, part of the reason why I also like fall is because it's kind of nostalgic to me. When I was in high school, I was in the marching band. I was actually the drum major and every fall is football season. And that was so much fun for me to be in the band and to be able to travel with my team and my band and do all the marching band competitions and stuff like that. It was just a really great time in my life. I miss it. I miss my friends. I miss, um, you know, that group that we had in the band and the choir and stuff like that. And I know it's been like 25 years since I was in high school, but I miss it every day. And every time fall rolls around, I think of those days and it's pretty nostalgic to me, like I said, and this is a huge reason why I love fall. Just the way you are. Keep on shining. You're perfect as you are. When 
was cleaning, I noticed that I had not changed my felt message board in quite some time. It is now mid-October and the first day of eighth grade for my daughter was a month and a half ago. So I figured I would put up a motivational quote for myself and the song that's playing in the background is perfect for this quote. You are beautiful just the way you are, no matter what weight you are, no matter what skin color you are, no matter what gender you are, no matter what sexual orientation, you are you and you are beautiful just the way you are. So I figured I would put this motivational quote so that every morning when I wake up and make my coffee and come downstairs, I can see this right in front of my face that this is my ultimate goal with my weight loss success. Stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready Let me be honest I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me Let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me But this time, this time Girl, I know what's bothering me I need somebody to love, oh No cleaning video of mine would be complete without doing laundry. I have this laundry to fold and then I have several baskets in my room that are folded that I need to put away. So after I'm done taking care of this pile here, I'm gonna go into my room and finally tackle putting all those clothes away. When you don't have to, there's so much that I'm still keeping to myself. Cause you don't listen, babe. But still you got me missing you. When I see you, my heart starts racing. I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're. I don't mind the actual task of doing laundry or even folding it, but my worst part of this task is putting it away. I don't know what it is. I can fold and fold and fold, but when it comes to actually putting the clothes away, that is where I lack in motivation. So you'll see when we get up to my room just how lacking my motivation has been with that chore. daughter who lives on the next box over is just a couple of years younger than my daughter so usually when my daughter grows out of her clothes I give gently worn things to her because it just helps them out and I loved getting hand-me-downs for my friends especially like things that are new with tags which a lot of stuff is as you can see here my daughter's very picky so sometimes I'll go shopping for her or my mom will buy her things when she was little and she just didn't like something about it or she just never got to wearing it so if it's just gently worn and looks like new, I'm happy to pass it on to my friends. So that's what I'm doing here. We went through our closet where all the jackets were, so I'm just gonna put these in a bag and bring them over to her house. All right, here is my <laughs> pile of clothes. I told you guys there's four baskets up here that need to be put away. So how I do that is I divide the clothing into categories as to where they're going inside of my closet. The pink basket is all of my daughter's clothes and I will be putting them in her room for her to put away. Everything else is divided onto my bed and then I will wind up putting them on hangers, hanging them up, and then putting sweaters in the drawers and socks away and stuff like that. You say you're sorry so we forget about it. Simple as that.
don't know what happened to all of my good hangers. I guess I need to declutter my closet again. Um, I did go to Target recently and buy a bunch of brand new felt hangers and they're so pretty they were on sale for $10 for 50 of them, which is a steal. So I, I really need to declutter my closet again because I am out of hangers once again. So you can see that I have a hodgepodge of hangers here. I'm pretty embarrassed of the plastic ones, but it is what it is for now until I can get to the store and buy some more. So I'm just gonna be hanging up my clothing and I have them divided into um, lighter clothes on the right, heavier clothes on the left, and they are all color coded. I do have a video down below somewhere in my videos of me decluttering my closet. But like I said, it's time for me to do that again. afternoon by this point so my daughter's about to be home in about 15 minutes so I'm going to be making her some cinnamon rolls so when she gets home she has a snack while she's doing her homework the house is going to smell so good while these cook but unfortunately they are six points each so I will be refraining from snacking on these delicious cinnamon rolls we won't hide in the crowd I had a grocery delivery this morning and these grapes were in there. So while the cinnamon rolls cook, I'm going to wash these, dry them off and put them in the containers on the right so that way they are ready to eat and I can put them in the refrigerator. So let me just tell you about my grocery delivery. <laughs> the man who delivered my groceries almost hit my parked car in the driveway and in the process crushed my brand new garbage can. I am not sure what his reasoning was with trying to back his car into the driveway in front of my parked car when there was plenty of space in the other parking space in my driveway. I'll never know, but I basically had to run out of my house and scream at him to stop before he hit my car. What an experience. I know it may seem time consuming to prep your fruit ahead of time, but trust me, it is so worth it. If the fruit is washed and all the stems are removed, I am more likely to grab for something healthy like fruit than I am for something that's processed and not so good for me. And so is my daughter. We love grapes. I just don't like taking the time out to wash them and then I have wet grapes. So this is why I do this and it makes my time and my effort so much easier. We just take a minute to appreciate the icing that's going over 
these cinnamon rolls. If I can't eat it, I'm certainly gonna take the time and slow down to appreciate the beauty of sugar. My focus been drifting away from you. Just wasn't our time, our time. You can say, you can say what you want, but I know you hurt at night. But I tried and I tried and I tried to hold you tight. So I... Now that my daughter's home, I wiped and cleaned out her lunchbox and I'm going to be packing her lunch for tomorrow. I try to mix it up and do something differently every time for her. Um, I've lately been making sandwiches, sometimes I'll do wraps for her, but I am going to try these cheese sticks. They are light mozzarella cheese sticks and they are one point each. And the prosciutto is one point per one ounce. So I'm just going to roll the prosciutto around the cheese stick, put four of them in her lunchbox, and then I'm going to cut a built puff in half and I'm going to give her some hot and spicy Cheez-Its and some grapes and I think that'll be a good lunch for her. I hope she likes it. Um, I'm not sure how she feels about prosciutto, but she does love ham, so I think she'll like it. I also got some drink boxes. I got the Honest um, Organic Apple Juice, and they are they are in the freezer right now, so that way I will put one in her lunchbox in the morning, and it should be defrosted by the time she has lunch. Keep on telling lies That is how we stay alive mm. So you know that I don't mind About what is wrong and what is right We keep moving In different rhythms Still I know what you feel If you're interested in where I purchased this bento box, I did get it off Amazon. My daughter really likes it. On the left side, that divider in the middle comes out so that it fits a sandwich in there. Um, I did put the divider in today so that way um, the cheese and the brujuta doesn't get the crackers soggy, but it does come out, like I said, and you could put a sandwich in there. The next thing on my agenda for today is to water these plants. We did get some rain recently, but the outside plants get the water, but the inside plants are underneath the overhang of my porch, so they don't get water as often, and you can see they're starting to get a little droopy. Also, I have to sweep because the squirrels are having a field day with my pumpkins and my gourds. They're leaving little seeds and crumbs everywhere, and they're also digging in my mulch, making a huge mess. So I need to clean this area up because it's looking matted gross. Here we are on the next morning and I'm starting the day out by making some espresso and I'm going to be having that with frothed up premier protein and then I'm going to be preparing my crock pot. I'm going to be cooking some chicken with vegetables and I'm going to be using this McCormick one sheet pan farmer's market seasoning as well as one cup of chicken broth. Everything in the pot is zero points except for the potatoes. I believe red potatoes are four points for a half a cup and that seasoning is apparently one point for two teaspoons. So I'm going to be cutting my vegetables fairly large so that they don't get soggy. And how I'm going to do this is put all of the vegetables on the bottom of my crock pot, adding my one cup of chicken broth, and then I'm going to season the vegetables, put the chicken breasts on top, season both sides of the chicken, cover it, and cook it on low for six hours. Yep, 
Yesterday, I had that debacle with the delivery man with my groceries, almost hitting my car and taking out my garbage can. Today, we had a debacle with the bus driver. My daughter went out to the bus stop at her normal time. Not only did the bus driver come seven minutes early, but it forced my daughter to like book it down the street and she stopped just at the bus. The bus driver didn't see her apparently because she took off. My daughter was literally standing in front of the bus when the bus driver drove away. So I had to drive my daughter to school this morning and I was annoyed <laughs> because how did you not see her? I mean, she was literally right in front of the bus, but that kind of annoyed me. So this morning started off like that. Then I had to run some errands. I had to go to Home Depot. I picked up some bug spray and I also picked up some batteries because I have to change out all of my candles in the windows. And I'll show you that in a little bit. My daughter received this box from her CCD teacher and it is a joy box. What they're going to do is mail these to less fortunate kids and our job was to fill the box with an age range that we picked and they're going to send it to a child that needs this stuff. So we picked a female ages 10 to 14. So I did go to the Dollar Tree this morning and I picked up a lot of things. I wish I could have fit more in there because I absolutely love doing this kind of thing. But I wound up picking up some toiletries, some cute little things, some makeup items, some nail polish, brush, you know, stuff for her nails and um, toothbrush and toothpaste and I just stuffed as much as I could into this box and she has to bring it back to her CCD teacher and the church is going to ship them off to where they need to go. Every line designed to let me know. absolutely love these candles. They are my favorite battery operated candles by far. They give such a nice warm glow and they flicker like they're real candles. I got them off of Amazon. I know I'm an Amazon junkie. I buy everything on Amazon, but every few weeks you do have to switch out the batteries. There is a remote that comes with them. Each battery, each candle takes two AA batteries and the remote's purpose is to um, set the timer for them. There's a six, eight, I'm sorry, there's a four, six, and eight hour timer on these candles. So you just have to make sure you turn them all on at the same time and set the timer so that way they come on when you set them on and then they go off in the amount of hours that you choose. Here's what they look like in the windows outside. I feel like they make my house look so cozy and welcoming. You can see the lights in the foreground on the shepherd hooks. These are also from Amazon and they're solar powered. They flicker like real flames as well. And I think they just make the house look so cozy. In your strings and you might be seeing You're gonna be rejected. 
It is the end of the day for us and now it's time to eat dinner. And this is what our dinner looked like when it was done. My house smelled so good with this in the crock pot cooking all day. I just wanna thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate your support. If you could, please hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time I post. Follow me on Instagram at everyday underscore tidbits and Facebook at everyday tidbits because I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook family. I hope everyone's being safe out there and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye. See